Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Shout out to the um, Your Space charity. Um, yeah. If you type in Your Space um, on the internet, you if you search images as well, you'll probably see a picture of a pair of football boots. Um, you've had a few pairs of football boots customised in the past, haven't we? By the way, the guy that does that, he's the one that does all the lads as well, isn't it? Yeah, he yeah. does a bloody good job on it as well, don't he? Oh, uh, there was one a couple of years ago. Um, I think it was the most famous pair of football boots um, this country's ever seen. Got to be. Got to be. Um, you got into a little bit of flack for this one, didn't you? I suppose so. Only a little not bit. Not that I really cared, to be honest yeah, with I you. Yeah, I love that. It was mad, like, as you say, with the autism ones, it was yeah. different, it was class. They were after the Tory ones initially, which was even better, because yeah. it then gave them more attention. I didn't even mean for the attention in the first place, but the autism ones were obviously for Albion. I joined up with Your Space, who do incredible work with, like, families who... Obviously, we have an autistic child routines. You need supervision sometimes for, for them. And you always give them that chance, Jordan, half term to be able to, they look after the kids and I give them one to one and then they go to work. And as I say, with the, um, with the other boots, it was quite mad. It was obviously, I was sat in the house and I was going to get John White, his name is, to paint me um, it, yeah. some stuff on my boots. I said to my partner, he asked me, could he? I was like, yeah, no problem. What, what should I do? So she says, why don't you get the Liverpool skyline? And then the words of a Jamie Webster song, this place, wrote above it, quite touching, like, about you, you love Liverpool. And that song's actually quite true, very true about Liverpool. I was like, yeah, no problem. And then I was thinking on the other one, what could I do? And <laughs> obviously, <laughs> I know, the, the way the world is, at the moment, people can't pay the bills, all sorts. Like, in Liverpool, it's actually, we'd actually say to each other, like, to my mate, he'd walk in, he'd be dressed in something funky. I'd be like, oh, you're a bad Tory, you. Like, it, it was an, it's an insult. Yeah. So genuinely, without even thinking of any attention or anything, I was like, oh, well, that's, that, that's quite relevant at the minute. Like, I'm like the world's mental, like, they f***ed up so many things, like... And obviously, with all the autism stuff as well, like these, the NHS is so backlogged with it, and they just all the money's gone from it, and privatisation, all sorts of stuff with the government. That I just thought, you know what, that's going on my boots. I don't really care. I don't, no attention. I'm not really bothered. Anyone can see it anyway. Whatever. And literally the day they got dropped off, Toes says to me, "Oh, like you can't wear them." Why can't I watch me? Like I'm not bothered. He was like, "No, nah, you'll be caused like chaos." I was like. No one really cares, like, oh, I've got on my feet, like, we play in the National League, like. And he was like, oh, all right then. So then, literally, I went home, took a photo. Club ring me. Can you take that down, please? Like, it's got the club badge in the back. I was like, yeah, no problem. Didn't even think of that. That's fine. I get it. Took it down. Took another one on the couch, blah, blah. Then that night, obviously, a load of people are like, oh, these are class or whatever. I went to sleep and uh, woke up the next day, sat on the couch and... Turn the telly on, Sky Sports News, bang. Was Paul it Mullen. really? Skipped <laughs> onto BBC was. to go and watch the breakfast show, bang, Paul Mullen. <laughs> Every single station, I was like, oh my God. Literally picked my phone up, I'd missed so many missed calls, texts, all sorts. Went on Twitter, seen the club statement, which obviously it was nothing to do with them. Like They, they, had, they yeah. might have had to release yeah. that. It was nothing to do with the club, it's just my opinion. Like nothing, nothing to do with them whatsoever. Literally got in the car, turned the radio on on the next station on there turned it off walked in the shop to get some milk to go and make me a scrambled eggs with walk in it's on the radio in the shop it's the same thing i'd was, like obviously a different station but i was like for sake like people do actually give a to you. yeah like this is mental and that was the first time i actually thought do you know what like maybe people do actually give a it's shit. a bit different say. this yeah like, i didn't expect any of this like but Maybe I'll just have to get used to it, but I don't think I've ever said, like, I've stamped my every single bit of it. And did, I, did you ever I, wear them boots, by the way? I, no, I'd love to wear them, but if I wore them, I'd get banned. Have you still got them at home? Yeah. Oof. Still got them in the house, saved them for a rainy day. What I liked about it, though, Paul, I'll save them until they're not needed anymore, probably in about a year's time, and they go <laughs> anyway. But what I liked about it is that, and it's, it's obviously testament of who you are, is that at no point quite rightly did you say oh i'm sorry about that it was only the element of the club badge which you go fair enough i yeah, understand that, yeah, that. Yeah, sorry yeah, for yeah. putting in front of that because yeah. there's nothing to do yeah. with the yeah. 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 To be honest, the world shouldn't be stupid enough to look at the photo and think oh that's rex, rex. Yes. They, yes. they agree with them it's not it's come off my social media sure. not theirs like but i get i had to take that down because it's nothing to do with the club whatsoever but like from my point of view i don't care like it's my opinion deal with it like yeah I haven't upset anyone apart from them but that's always going to be the way, you know, everyone's yeah. going to have the beliefs and that's just the way I am as a person. And to be honest, I don't regret any bit of it. And I think 
even at the time, I was, people might say, oh, you did know for the attention. Well, I didn't because at the time of me posting them, Wrexham, and they still have got a, a Tory MP, like voted obviously from years ago before she f***ed it up as well. <laughs> but I didn't know that. If I did know that, then do you think I would have thought, oh, do you know what, actually Wrexham fans might disagree with me? Yeah. No, I just done it. But obviously they didn't disagree with me. They fully, <laughs> fully backed me. I walked out to warm up that night. We had a game against Halifax in the whole stadium. Just think, start singing a song did to them really? yeah, as soon as it come out. So <laughs> that was quite mad. They still but, sing um, it now, by the way. Politics is like a very, <laughs> well, it's like a fine line in it. Like the loads of people get involved and things. I didn't even do it to get involved. And even to this day, I still don't tweet about politics and stuff. I don't get involved. It weren't a political statement of such. It was literally just the Mate, politics scouse. is as bad as football, mate. If, you, it if it's an opinion-based something, like, yeah. But if yeah. I wore them boots, like I was going to get banned for games. If it was a fine, I'd have swallowed yeah. them. And yeah, go on then. I just I'll keep wearing them. Just for the sake of it. But... I weren't going to like You'd have been like Michael Jordan back in the day where he used to wear colours. You remember where he used not to wear the colour Jordan? Like, that's like, that's right. just what you're like. You're the non-league Jordan, is <laughs> what you are, right? It would have been mental. But obviously, getting banned, I was like, it's not even worth it. I didn't even have to. It's all over the place. But that's, like, that's football politics as well, as well, though. Funnily as well, Rishi Sunak is his name. Yeah. The PM, he's seen them anyway. Has he? Yeah. I think um, Ryan asked him a question about them. And that. Did he? Yeah, he'd seen them. Which was, uh, of course he's seen it. Uh, what's the future hold for Paul Mullen then? Um, what do you want to do with Wrexham? Um, I'm not a uh, fortune teller, but... What do you want... Where can you see this club going, genuinely? I don't, I don't know. The sky is the limit for yeah. them. Obviously, you've been here and you've seen it. The owners are hungry for success, but have sold all the lads. And we actually want to give these supporters who've had so many years of hardship, we actually want to give them that moment last year again and again and yeah. make them happy. You know, this story that we've sort of wrote at the minute feels like it's nowhere near finished like we want to enjoy playing us for as long as we can yeah, and while right. all the excitement's about it's even more so and to keep that excitement there you have to keep doing well and we're so hungry to to keep doing well that's why we work hard every single day but the one thing i'm most proud about about everything that's gone on is the fact that we haven't let it detract from our football all this documentary or me going to GQ Awards last week, although I was you look nice, very, mate. Although I wasn't very good on Saturday, but it wasn't because of that. You <laughs> look like, lovely. I don't let it affect us. We've we've just literally rolled our sleeves on. We are footballers first and foremost. We've got a job to do, and to be honest, we don't really speak about the documentary. No, like, you don't. We, it doesn't even get mentioned because that's not us. Like that might be getting sent out about us when we did the interviews and things. It's all real but we don't ever speak or talk about it. We're just ourselves. And I'd say that's probably what I'm most proud about, the gaffer just keeping everyone. Literally, this is football, this yeah. is what we do. Anything else doesn't really matter. Like, that's the most important thing. And I think for us, we've got to keep that going. And as a club, obviously Ryan and Rob have said the aim for the Premier League, which is a dream. Everyone cool. has a dream. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.